All right, so. Kemper in the house. We're gonna have a little fun right now. This is like the preliminary figure some things out. So, we went back for a Kemper, round two. One thing that's, that I've noticed, all right, so today's gonna be like figuring out how we wanna patch this thing in if we wanna use a preamp or not. And then we're gonna do like a profile video next. So I've got this actually patching through the GML and boosting EQ. One thing I've noticed, that's nothing. A lot of the profiles are dark, just dark, right? So, I don't know, here's a bunch. That's, that's nice. Here's like the Michael Britt 16. The, the new rig manager is unbelievable. Here's the, the amp. So I don't even need to go over here anymore. Turn that. I seem to, to always do this, like a little treble, little presence, maybe cut the bass, this definition up, maybe a little more gain, I don't know. Yeah, that EQ is, is intense. Uh, this is Brit's uh, Jube. That actually sounds like a Jubilee. Here's a 72. Yeah, here's Top Jimmy. You'll see, we're getting to something. Hold on. All right, let's go back to. See that? The symbols. Oh, all right. So if I put the GML on, we'll, we'll get there. Just bear with me. All right, then. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Let's do the 69. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this as our template. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna call this uh, MB69. We know it's a Marshall. So here we're gonna turn off the GML. But I did boost up a little bit of the treble. Here's uh, here's the so right, and then uh, let's engage the 8200. That's the GML EQ. Little low cut, little mid cut and a little top boost yeah let's... and the this is now going into the the um the burl b2 now if i take this and instead, I go into the symphony. This is way less volume. It's kind of weird. Um, symphony. I guess that, I guess. Yeah, it's so weird. I guess that the burl is just louder. I've even got it all, oh, I've got it to minus 12. Oh, uh, I got, yeah, it's, it could go more, it's probably got, because I think it's got like a transformer. So that, that explains it. Look at this, I'm starting to <laughs> change things on the front here. Oh my God, I'm crazy. Look at that, right there in the mix. So here is the Symphony. The 82 in. Lower volume, look at that, huh? Let's do this, we're gonna take it and kinda make it even. We'll just go like that. Right, close enough for rock and roll. All right, so here's that burl. And 
symphony. Yeah, pretty, pretty much very similar. Okay, so let's let's go back to the B2 for now, just because of the levels. Let's make sure we're good here. So we're, we're gonna have a little fun here. Stay with me. Look at that! I can do it right here in the front. <laughs> So now, let's, we're going to go back into the B2. Alright. Not much of a riff. i got to get my riff game back on. Now, let's try this. We're going to come out of the GML. We're going to go into the cappies, right? And then we're going to come out of the cappies, right there, the last pair. All right? Let's bear with me. My vision is kind of crazy. Okay, that's louder. I can hear hiss. So let's, let's, let's turn this down. Okay, let's... Put a little something something there. All right, and that's the cappies. Um, yeah. weird because I used to do that yeah if something doesn't like that okay let's try this let's try that a pair of the uh, of the uh... whoa don't, don't play here's a pair of the uh of the Vintex. It must, it must be, I must have to turn the input all over. That's, that's pretty cool. So that's the Vintech, but that's with the input volume, like the Neve input volume on like pretty much zero. <laughs> Looks like it. Yeah, it's 25, I guess. Oh no, it goes lower. I see it's a, it's a different dial than the, than the Neve. So here is the, Vin the Vinnies, the Vinnies. So here is just straight B2. Vintech. It all feels kind of covery. All right, well, yeah. I don't know if it really helps. I think I'm just going to pass on it just because, you know what, it's more stuff. And, but I wanted it. But you know what? I'll go down one more. Let me let me turn them down. We're gonna try one more set of these. We're gonna go down now to the uh, TGs. Bert Mullendijk. I'm back saying that now that I'm got a Kemper. All right. And bear with me right now. I know that this this doesn't sound killer right now it's going to take a little time i've got to make some adjustments and this is the tg right everything's recording yeah okay all right so oh did, not, did i not plug that in the right thing no i did oh, whoa that, that 
is sensitive. Oh, I like that. Okay, hold on. Okay, and again, this is no changes. The GML is on. This is the TG channel or the TG. Here is the B2. And TG. So I like this TG. This is nice. But maybe it's something that I could get no TG. So let's, let's, uh, Give me one second, because I kind of don't want to use the preamp, you know, for a number of reasons, because it's just more stuff and more, because I've got the preamp all set up for all the, the real amps in the other room, so it'd be a matter of like kind of, I don't know, we just take, yeah, so here is uh, no TG added, <laughs> added with three D's EQ so let's see if I can kind of EQ a little bit more top that was the thing I noticed on the uh, on the on the TG and I'm just I just picked a profile and you know we're, we're not we're not getting oh wait a second where am I um yeah there you go okay with the TG channel. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay like this. I'm not I'm not gonna put in the channels. So let give me a minute. Let me put my my little deal back together here. See this is where like I have like this kind of O C D mind. And it's just better for me to Yeah, I don't I don't yeah I'm better when I I'm thorough. Yeah, that's number three. So you guys may ask, why did you mess with this? Didn't you have a Kemper? I did. And I, I, I didn't want to make, it was weird. I went through a phase where I didn't want to make record. I wanted to do, I wanted to go back to the way that me and Greg used to record guitars. Six. Oh, there's six, and there's seven, and there's eight. Okay, I wanted to kind of go back to the way me and Greg used to record guitars. Like, I don't know, I just, I went through a phase, and the thing was, is that, um, I, I, I have this little, sometimes little bit of a lazy phase, and lazy side of me, and the Kemper kind of, fan that because it's you know really so easy <laughs> it's only like turn it on click make it brighter no but the thing was is that and seven and eight i'm just i'm just re re-putting back together the whole guitar rig 
because I just took the whole thing apart. There you go. All right, so. Yeah, let's put this back where it was. Thirty-five. I think it was like that. Thirty-five. I think it was right there. Something like that. Well, we'll check it out. But um, yeah. But you know, I wasn't. I don't know. I just wasn't. I don't know. I just lost my way, and I was. I just got rid of it. But I had all the profiles, and my buddy Jason got one, and, and then I started listening to all these demos, and I'm like, plus now it's like I'm getting, I'm back into doing like a lot of licensing music, and uh, I just, you know, I mean, I basically have Marshall, Boogie, a Deluxe Reverb, and a Vox. Great. I mean, that, but it's the same thing I've been using for 20 years, and you know, I mean, I, I have an orange right now, and I swing some things in, but... I just, I want other sounds, you know, and especially like this mid gain, middle of the road thing, you know, with like P90s and tellies, uh, you know, like things like Matchless and Top Hat and Divided by 13. And, you know, I, I, I'm not going to buy all these amps. You know what I mean? It, it's just too much dough. So I already had all these profiles and somebody traded out, you know, some gear that I had. So yeah, here it is. I got another Kemper and we're, 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 we're giving it, I'm giving it a hundred percent to, to get this happening. <laughs> So a lot of the profiles, and I've I've been a little I've been researching this. Um, the Kemper can add a little bit of like like uh, in the sound. So if you cut a little bit of that out, you get a closer representation of what you or more what you want. That sounds great. There's a little Maxon ODO. Yeah. All right. So, again, I, I bypassed. I'm not using distressors. I'm not using any preamps. I'm just coming out of the camper into the... Into... Yeah, into the uh, GML EQ. Because it's just giving me that automatic lift. Yeah, it feels like everything just needs more of... Like, I'm basically... Like, with the, with the GML, it's like I'm doing the general EQ to just make everything with, with the Kemper sound more like what it should sound like to my ear. So... I'm dropping picks. Now that feels maybe a touch bright. Let's try taking the GML out on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe no. That's with the OCD on. This is this is gonna be good. <laughs> that makes me happy. 
happy. Right, so there's a rec there's a there's a nice VH4 that is a thousand times better than the UA plug-in of the VH4, in my opinion. I had that plug-in like for a week and that thing sucks. <laughs> I think that plug-in sucks. It's just weird sounding. If I didn't have any other profiles, man, I just got a VH4. <laughs> but we got other profiles. I love that sound, and that's what I don't have here. Like, the Marshall is the mid-range. The, uh, the rectifier is cool, but like I really... A lot of times I want more of that VH4. I don't always, you know... Oh, that's... That's gorgeous. Here's the, this is Deadlight Studio. Here's the rectifier. Uh, take the OCD app. Let's put in the Maxon 808. It sounds like a cracked wah. Quack, quack. Here's the light speed. That's nice. Add a little top end, a little more drive. Yeah. OCD again. I'll drop a little of that gain down. Yeah, the, the light speed is nice. It, it's not as like wah 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 as the, as the OCD. Guido, Guido, hey, it's Guido's diesel. But I got, I, I learned how to use these effects. I never even knew how to use. And this new rig manager is awesome because it, uh, the whole, the, I don't have to keep, I don't even have to go over here. I didn't realize that till I turned this all on and it updated. That's nice. Here's the Chop Tones Rectum Fryer, I think. Dual? Rectum. Nice, that's with the light speed. Let's go with the let's go with the OCD, add a little more for ferocity to it. Ferocious. This see this is a darker profile. Let's go back to putting the GML on. See, now I'm used to this. That's nice. That's nice. So they're different cabs, I guess. I gotta look at them. These are just, this is my old rig manager set. And 
It's got more of like uh, like a Marshall. I wonder what cab. Boogie to rectifier cab. I don't know what speakers. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get my... <laughs> So, yeah, that's, that's, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to be messing with this thing. Uh, I've got, I've got Michael Britt's entire collection. Everything. I have like, what is it, 860 profiles? And you know, he's got some really nice. Here's his Jubilee. So you can see I've got the favorites. This is all old though. I'm going to be going through everything again. Fresh. Goldfinger. Blues Jr. <laughs> like a little EQ, a little Mobius on there. This guitar is like my most kind of most versatile guitar. This is uh, an, an, Epi an older Epiphone and uh, it's got five wire Duncans on it. It's got um, a custom 59 in the bridge and then a 59 in the neck and they're both tappable. So this thing is like my, this is like the most, yeah, this is my most, I think my most versatile guitar because you know, I can do Guns N' Roses. I can, I can go like this and tap it, and go in the middle and get like a, like a funky disco country. If we had, you know, this it's not a clean profile, but you know, if it, if it was clean. Yeah, nice, right? One country riff. Blues Jr. These are nice. I like these. These Blues Juniors are nice. Huh. Say it isn't so. Did I just turn the gain down? That's weird. That's, that's a great profile you know and again like you know if i was to buy all these hands right you know uh, you know buy the divided by 13 and the blues jr and the diaz I, I, well, this is a guy that was like used to be a sound or used to be a guitar tech for like santana <laughs> Is there 
like a weird gate on this? Oh, there's a compressor on this. Yeah, let's shut that thing off. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Now it's a little too bright because the compressor makes it. Ugh. I don't like compressors a lot of times with guitars. the Michael Britt so look at this I have four million I'm literally Michael Britt in uh, in uh, non Michael Britt form I mean look at all these dual rectifiers all this stuff I, I got to go through it again got the gates on there yeah these are brighter yeah. all right well just bear with me Nice. That's a vic victory, I guess a Victoria. It's a little. Huh. All right. So, yeah, but this is going to be fun. And like I said, I'm going to be doing 69 Basement. Oh, that's that's great. That's totally useful. It's like something's. I wonder if that's my Pro Tools. Let's see. Yeah, noise gate's off. Oh shoot! Oh man, my noise gate was on down here. Ah! Sorry about that. Dang. I'll get the hang of this. One day. But again, I'm going to be doing all this. I got a lot of things going on. A lot of changes. You know. This is a Dumble, I guess. I never played one of these. There was a dude in North Carolina that had one. Yeah, I never got the bug. I was like, oh, I guess it sounds cool. I don't know. Little Walter. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, and, and a lot of these cleans, like, we're going to be going through other things other than this Les Paul. <laughs> low end but it's probably geared more for like a telly you know right out of the gate yeah I like brighten that up these pedals P please ch choose an effects type um oh wait let's go oh i see okay so let's go uh to uh let's do a phaser vibe right <laughs> Okay, so that's how you change. Mm -hmm. 
That's nice. And you know, you there's where you get like your single performance can be very kind of stereoed like but in different stages, you know. I, the one thing I do have to remember is it, it's like this is like Omnisphere or like Keyscapes. When you make a change, it takes a second, it, right? Because it's got a. And the other thing, too, Homeboy from uh, Tone Junkies talked about like having a certain amount of profiles on your. Yeah, see, here's, I guess this is my pro, this is my profiler. So these are the profiles that are in my Kemper. So, I mean, I could even delete them all, you know, and then maybe, maybe things will load in faster. I don't know. But anyway, that's it. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun, man. You know, I've been, I've been listening to a lot of clips and it's great. You know what I mean? You know, is it, is it, I'm not getting rid of my amps. I'm going to integrate this. Also, I got to get my bass thing happening. So I have a whole thing with bass profiles. And then I'll start to look at, you know, other profiles. But for now, I've got, you know, I don't know. What is that, 2,700 profiles? Something like that. I got a lot. Yeah, well, that's with rig exchange, I guess. I mean, I've got probably of my own stuff here, you know, 1,500 maybe. Maybe not that many. I don't know. But and these were all kind of these are all from third party guys like Bert Mullendyke and Guido and uh, Craig Sorrenti. Um, Guido is guitarist. Michael Britt, Sinmix, Tone Hawk. Yeah, Chop Tones, Top Jimmy. So we're gonna. That's what we're gonna do over the next few days. But I, I definitely don't want to use mic pre's. Less is more. I, I, I'm fine like this. All right. I hope people don't like just totally blast on this. You know this uh, this video. Like, oh man, you know you shouldn't be using Kempers, and you know you're you're the devil. I mean, I may be the devil, but not because of the Kemper. Maybe it's my hair. <laughs>